First off, there's two types of fuel injectors in common use. This video is going to focus on the older multi-point or multi-port fuel injection and not the newer GDI or gas direct injection. This little website will give you a good tutorial on the differences. We're going to see a simple method without using compressed air and then one that's a little bit more advanced using compressed air. Four years ago, while doing the head gasket, I decided to clean the fuel injectors and that got rid of a problem with random misfire on cylinder 3. In this picture, the fuel injectors are missing and what we see on the lower part is the ports where the injectors plug into the intake manifold and above that we see the fuel rail and the electric plugs. If you have a chance to visit a local junkyard, you can cut off the power connectors that connect to the fuel injectors and use that as a part of your cleaning setup. Also, later in the video, we'll see where I have a fuel rail, which I got at the junkyard, and then just capped off with some epoxy. Before you clean your fuel injectors, it is important to know that you have to have something to trigger and open the valve. Otherwise, you cannot clean them just by spraying carburetor cleaner in because it will not go through. First, let's take a look at the quick method. What I'm going to do is leave the switch on. There's a little notch here to show how the connection goes. Put it up to your ear and you'll hear it. By leaving the power on, I'll be able to know that it's on because my switch doesn't have any lights. I'm going to put some acetone in the top. Put this on. I'm going to want to get these at the junkyard. They're the clips that lock the injector on to the fuel rail. The reason is when you put them on, you take them off, depending on your design, they can go flying. Just you pressing it down, it snaps back and it's gone. So it really helps to have extras. Even when you're taking the injector on and off the car, the same thing can happen. You should apply a little bit of grease to your injector slot so that this thing helps it to go on. There's probably a tool which might be good to get if it's not too expensive. This is how I store the injectors. They go in a bag like this, this regular Ziploc. And when I took them out of the car, I numbered them. So if a particular cylinder had a problem, was running too rich, or standard clean. carburetor cleaner, and uh, then of course WD-40 to prep them for storage. This fuel injection rail came from the junkyard. I got one that matched my car. I had to get parts anyway. I grabbed four injectors. I capped off this with a penny because it's a convenient size, doesn't rust. And standard epoxy, JB Weld. Same thing here. Standard air fitting, epoxied in. You have to remember to set the pressure low. You only need about 20 pounds, 20 PSI. Do not crank a lot of pressure through here. This end capped off with the same epoxy. The way it works is you put in some liquid in here, like a cleaner, carburetor cleaner, whatever, half ounce, a little less. Plug your injector in. Go ahead and plug this stub, which came from the junkyard. Okay, so I clipped it, did a little soldering. I found there's a lot of talk about the voltage, but you only need a little bit to trigger it. So in this case, this is just a standard universal 6 volt power supply. Polarity doesn't seem to matter, so either way. Here you could use the clip, I don't because it saves time. You want to have safety glasses on because sometimes this will surprise you. It will pop out. Right? It'll get slippery or whatever. It'll pop out of here. Uh, you've got your air pressure plugged in, it'll just start blowing everything out and you have a mess. Is I triggered it, sprayed the gasoline, because there will always be gasoline trapped in these. If you put gas in this end, it will not come out the other end. There's a simple valve and a spring. When you trigger the injector and turn it on, it opens the valve, you get a continuous spray pattern. 
hit the switch and turn it off, the spraying stops. But liquid will stay trapped in here. So after ejecting the gasoline, I then got it ready for storage. I bought a one gallon of WD-40, which I had uh, got a while ago. So I just used this, pumped about three squirts of WD-40 into here. I then ejected it into a rag as a means of collecting it. And uh, that's it. Now this injector has WD-40 in it, keeping it lubricated. It does not have old gas, which will gel and cause problems. And it's ready to go into storage. So just to recap, you can use any fuel rail as long as the injector fits. Most of them are a similar size. The most important thing is you have to remember that it has to be a multi-point fuel injector, not GDI as the newer cars have. Happy cleaning.